Hi, my name is Ty Davis, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to do Agile project management with GitLab. Uh, this is something that we define as part of our manage and plan stages, uh, as part of the 10 stages that we, we have as the DevOps lifecycle. Um, it is a great starting point for organizations looking to plan out um, the uh, Agile projects uh, that their teams will be uh, approaching and tying that to your SCM and tying that to your CI, CD and your security uh, as part of that DevOps end to end. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at this mock organization, Healthcare Provider Incorporated. Uh, they've broken down uh, their organization into value streams or into uh, specialty areas uh, with groups or with subgroups. Um, you can see that here with online experience, hospital, laboratory, uh, pharmacy, specialist primary care, um, and then they have uh, PMO, PMO management as a project, and this is where they're going to do a lot of um, their high-level epic boards and and moving those um, from in progress to done and directly correlating those with with issues and sub epics um, in in these uh, value streams or specialty groups. Uh, when we take a look at how hierarchy works inside of GitLab, um, in this particular case, we have these groups that I just mentioned. And then underneath them that we have large agile teams and intake, patient records, staff scheduling, billing. We're gonna be looking at billing and um, the, the four project levels underneath billing, which we'd consider uh, these either, you know, scrum or Kanban teams that make up the larger agile team of billing. Um, these, these projects are where your repositories are gonna exist. This is where your issue Boards are going to exist and, 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 and seeing progress that's done with those specific projects. You have the ability at the billing subgroup level to see everything that's happening with these projects. It rolls up to billing and the same thing will happen there to roll up to hospital and then that can roll up at the highest level to healthcare provider incorporated where leadership or execs have visibility into the organization as a whole and progress that's being made um, with all of the different areas and groups. Before we dive into that project, we're going to look at the issue, or sorry, the epics. Um, epics are, uh, this is going to be rolled up again to this very high parent ancestor level. Um, when we're at this high portfolio level, we're probably going to be looking at just, you know, maybe a strategic theme that's going to um, be broken down into a larger epic and then broken down into a feature, into an issue. So, you know, we, we as leadership, We've looked at this, we've seen that, okay, this is the five important areas for us that we want to improve upon. Um, maybe, you know, if we look at improve overall ARP, since we'll be, we'll be talking uh, billing, I can see that there's a sub-epic directly correlated with that. Um, maybe this is a larger epic, or maybe this is actually a, just a feature. Um, in this case, it's a feature that accepts all major methods of payment. I have that traceability. If I were to go into that feature or sub-epic, um, I can see that there's um, uh, another feature correlated with it right here, and I can see all the issues that are directly correlated with this, this sub-epic that I've defined. So it has that great traceability of showing that hierarchy of epic to sub-epic to issues, keeping that correlation amongst themselves, and um, giving that, that you know, leadership or that executor or maybe a director, VP, um, visibility into what is specifically um, associated with a sub epic. Going back here to healthcare providers, so we're going to start. Uh, I mentioned we're going to get into billing, and this is where I'm going to go into patient billing here. Um, I am going to head over to the board view. You can see that I landed right on the repository there. And this is where we're going to start doing our backlog grooming, we're going to do our sprint planning or our release planning. Uh, in this case, I, I am doing Scrum, so I have some sprint set up. Um, this is looking at the current sprint, but I want to do sprint planning. I'm going to go over to that board view that I've set up um, using uh, what we define in milestones, which is where we define our sprints. Uh, milestones in GitLab is a time box. Uh, we'll, we'll look at that. Actually, I'll just show you that right now. Um, you can see over here in milestones, um, I've defined sprint 1 through 5. You could define releases if you wanted, like a 12.0, 12.1 if you're doing more of a Kanban approach. Um, but milestones, this is where we do time boxing um, and we define our sprints. And then you could take those sprints 
bring them over to your sprint planning board, give them uh, each a lane, and this is where we can start doing our tracking and dropping, assigning issues um, to that sprint. In this case, I'm in sprint two. Let's say we're already currently in sprint one. Um, so that's ongoing and we're planning for the next one, or maybe we are, we are just completing sprint one and, and beginning sprint two. So I've moved issues over to uh, sprint two. They're now assigned to that sprint. Um, I'm going to go to current sprint. Let's just say, for instance, now we are in sprint two. Um, and dev team, we see all the issues that have been assigned to sprint team or sprint two. And um, this is actually uh, filtered by sprint two, so I can see everything specific um, that is only associated with sprint two. So drag and drop these issues over. Um, maybe it's me, Ty, the developer. I'm coming in here. I uh, say, okay, I want to work on that issue. I'm going to assign it to myself. It's now in progress. Um, the same can be done for you know, other issues. Um, you know, maybe Dan is going to take this one. Um, we'll see here. Uh, DT is going to take this one. And then uh, Mark's going to take this one. So now uh, we are in our current sprint. We're working on these. We've uh, came in here, self-organized, said these are the issues that we're working on, and, and we're moving forward with those. Uh, we have scope labels inside of GitLab. This is how uh, you can build out your workflows. Let's say I move my uh, from in progress to review. We can see that that status review uh, label has now taken ownership and removed the in progress. So th this gives us um, very easy ability to uh, filter if we want to see if anything's in a specific, um, a correlated with a specific tag. Um, if I'm a scrum master or a, a product owner and I want to have visibility in the team board, uh, I can take a look here. I can see what's assigned to Dan and Ty um, and Dave. And then um, just make sure that there's no bottlenecks or if there's any um, struggle somewhere where, where something's not moving through, I can uh, we could try to help uh, alleviate and um, help in those areas. Diving into um, specific issue now, let's see how the structure is built out with an issue. Um, I can see on the right side here we have uh, the epic that it's tied to, who's it signed to, um, the milestone that it's part of. Uh, you can add specific time tracking in here if you want to add some hours, give it a due date, labels that's associated with that, add any other labels. Maybe you're doing safe, it's part of an agile release train. Um, and then the weight uh, you can add in here whether you're doing maybe like Fibonacci scale or, or card, um, deck of cards, however you do that, you can add that weight in here. And then you have a few other options on the right. You can give it a title, description, and then um, you can have a specific task. Maybe we need some uh, more minute um, uh, to-dos that will make this issue or user story uh, move along, and those tasks can be defined in the description. We'll have a related uh, merge requests, so I can see I've already opened one up here. Um, and if uh, I want to just create a new merge request, I can do that here. This is a very um, big piece of GitLab because um, no other tool out there has a direct correlation with Agile Project Management and their merge pull requests, so their, their, their SCM and Agile Project Management. Um, most everything else is just an integration. Maybe you're integrating another tool with GitLab to have that kind of benefit. And so what you have the ability to do is use GitLab um, to create a merge request and that dev can go in there, they can check out their branch, they can use their IDE, they can um, use our web IDE that's built in. Um, this is very beneficial on the business side. A lot of people at GitLab from HR to marketing um, actually use our own tool and use this built in web IDE to make changes um, on the company site. Um, merge requests, we're not going to get into this. We could do that in a different demo, but um, great collaboration area. Um, let's say that we, we did run a pipeline um, and uh, we closed that pipeline out. Or sorry, we not closed that pipeline, I apologize. Um, so we run, a, uh, we check out our, our branch, we make our changes, we commit and push that, um, and then the pipeline passes then we can um, merge that to master and that's going to close out that issue. So we can see that it's closed out to, it's going to close issue um, 16. And that's going to help us as we progress through um, Agile and, and 
I don't have to make any extra effort as a developer to go in and move my issue from in review to done. It's going to do that automatically and then I can continue on to the next issue. Uh, I want to take a look at, you know, if we need uh, uh, to see um, how burn down is going. Um, we can see this is actual uh, release that we have at GitLab. You can take a look by issue weight or issues. It gives us great visibility into progress as part of that sprint or that release. Um, over here is showing you how many issues are closed and open. It's a great spot to track uh, progress of teams. So summarizing, you know, what, what we've, you know, for agile project management, um, there's a lot more we can get into, but um, it is a great uh, starting point and planning out what teams need to do, how you're going about microservices or applications and, and planning for those. Um, and directly tying that to SCM, directly tying that to um, your CI CD, all in one application uh, makes it very, very easy instead of GitLab to do. If you have any questions, feel free uh, to reach out. Uh, we're more than happy to help. Thank you for joining.